It's a term made popular by a social media video viewed more than 400,000 times, and many, even researchers, link it to a growing allergy problem across the country. Armed with her allergy medicine, <laughs> Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis gets to the root of botanical sexism and sees if this is a problem for us here in San Diego. Have you heard of the term botanical sexism? It's actually a thing. Now, it was made popular on TikTok, but I'm here exploring, is this real? And at the backbone of it is sort of a nasty sort of element, like males are superior to females. That's Thomas Ogren, the horticulturalist and pollen allergy expert who coined the term botanical sexism. People's curiosity sprouted after this viral TikTok video claiming that people have worse allergies and asthma in the United States compared to other countries because landscapers are planting more male trees than female ones. A preference for male trees dates back to the 1949 USDA yearbook called an urban pollen explosion, the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology echoed a similar notion in a 2018 report. And according to Kenneth Mendez, the president and CEO of the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America, in a 2021 study, the pollen-producing male trees are preferred over female trees because they are said to be easier to clean up after. Female trees produce more seeds and fruit and are considered more work. So there is some validity to this allergy trigger. Hmm, what about here in San Diego County? I took a stroll with this tree-loving expert, John Pavlik of Moon Valley Nurseries to get to the root of this growing issue. So you don't believe there's botanical sexism? No, no, not, not like a fight between the two. It just depends on, on, on what you want to get in your yard. John showed me around the new location on Carmel Mountain Road, where he said planting asexual trees are ideal for allergy sufferers rather than getting involved in a gender war. It's important to know which trees come in male and female species and which ones like these beautiful Indian laurel columns right here. If you got allergies, you want to put a hedge in, this is one of the best ones you can put in because this tree reproduces asexually. Every once in a while a signal comes from the tree and it actually just buds out a little tiny bit of fruit, but there's never a flower or any pollen associated with it. And something very interesting that John brought up during our interview was the fact that there is actually a connection when it comes to the pollen as well as defensible space around your house during wildfire season. I mean, if you looked at an aerial map of the county, you're going to see, still see to this day more native vegetation that's probably causing those problems than, you know, stuff that people are building into their landscaping. The same stuff that causes those fires is the same stuff that's growing and it dries out towards the end of the year and then some of it becomes more airborne. But let's admit, a battle of the tree sexes being the sole reason for causing allergy problems locally does sound more fascinating. I also checked with San Diego Allergy and Immunology, who also noted no direct correlation between an influx in male trees being planted and an increase in more allergy sufferers here. The war does rage on in the United States when it comes to botanical sexism, but just be mindful here in San Diego County. You're just advised to make sure you know what you're allergic to before you start planting some of these trees around your home. For News 8, I'm Chief Meteorologist, allergy sufferer, Carlene Chavis.